Good evening, YTPC. Tallis Piper coming to you from the garage shop on Friday night. It is uh, blowing about 60 miles an hour. Freezing rain tonight. Very nice and cozy here in the garage. So, glad to be coming to you guys. I'm uh, going to do a VR to London Calling with Simon for his uh, 3,000 sub three-year Gaw, um, smoking my Bing's favorite, rusticated with the, uh, you know, it has the balsa system. Uh, sometimes I put a balsa in there. I've got like two left, I think. So this was my first real pipe that I bought uh, probably four years ago. And before that, I just had basket pipes. Um, in it, I'm smoking Nording uh, Foxhound, which is or was made by McClelland. Somebody had gifted me um, some of that as a sample, and this is the last little bit of it. I do have, I think I bought two tins um, back in February before I knew that McClelland was going to shut down, and I wish I had bought more because it's really quite nice. It's a very mild English, but uh, it's quite enjoyable. working on my uh, custom cob here. I, um, if you can see that, heated up the stem and bent it a little, so it was a, a little diamond shank stem. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but kind of sanded it down to match the bamboo, which I stained a little bit to match this country gentleman bowl, and I think it's turning out real nice. Um, just little by little going through this uh, micro mesh, different stages of sanding. To get it down to a polish, then I'll run it on the buffer and polish it up real nice and give it to my friend, unless he doesn't want it. He's not a pipe smoker, so we'll see. So, Simon's um, VR question or thought is a time, a person, a situation, something that uh, upon reflection changed our perspective um, on that type of situation or that person. It's difficult for me to think of any one specific instance. Um, I think wisdom is what you call it where some situation happens and you respond in the same way and have poor results and then you think about it and realize oh wait a minute first one that comes to mind is just uh driving i'm a, I guess you'd call it type a personality where I think I'm right and everyone else is wrong and I'm the best driver and everyone else is a horrible driver. Anyway, you know, having a tendency to berate other drivers as they're not moving with the same efficiency that I feel like I am. <clears throat> but then upon reflection have found that I am in those same situations sometimes, you know, especially if I'm smoking my pipe while I'm driving, lost in thought, just going extra slow, you know, 10 under the speed limit, and uh, somebody's behind me yelling at me, <laughs> or I'm lost or in a different city, don't know where I'm going. And so, you know, wisdom says not to get mad at those people, whatever the situation for me, driving is the example that comes to mind, because that's me as well. I'm, I'm there, that person, is me. Everybody, everybody has those problems. Nobody's perfect. Um, the other thing is, I'd say recently just been learning a lot about honesty. I do some mentoring speaking every once in a while with uh, some high schools <clears throat> uh, here in town. And recently we were talking about secrets 
that when you hold them in, you know, especially said so the average person has 13 secrets, five of which they've never told anyone. And it's those big ones, you know, those ones we haven't shared or won't share with anyone ever that really can weigh you down, cause anxiety. You know, you'll tell a white lie to keep it hidden. And that lie grows, breeds more lies, and it becomes out of hand. And <clears throat> But just talking through with my wife and my family how honesty is just always the best policy with those you trust and especially with those you love that initially I'd think well I don't want to tell my wife this issue that I'm having because it will hurt her feelings but in the long run you know that uh, hinders intimacy and our connectedness in relationship so by just saying what I think and what I'm going through or sharing my feelings or my thoughts, even if, you know, they might <clears throat> be a little bit hurtful, it's a whole lot less hurtful than hiding it and letting it come out to life much later, you know. Better to just say, fess up in the beginning, take the consequences, then let them build up and then you break that trust on top of having lied. So, a couple things there to share with you. Simon, congratulations on the subs. Uh, really enjoy watching your channel. One of these days I want to see your face. Maybe you have to fly to London and see you in real life. I hope you guys have a great weekend. <laughs> if you're in the States, uh, Lunar Eclipse is Sunday night, so go check it out. And I think Venus and Jupiter have been in the morning sky kind of close together the past few days. So if you have a cloudless morning, go check it out too before the sun rises. God bless every one of you. Catch you next time. See ya.